Haha, -ha, here is a last minute video. <laughs> I just grabbed my camera and had to do it. I was talking to Leo and I uh, really want you to check out a video that he just posted. Um, here's the man with the master plan with the Nabu in his hand. And he goes through in this video, check my comment for the link because you're going to rush to do that right now. So the rest of this video is <laughs> probably not going to get watched by anybody because you're going to rush to watch this video. But wow, he goes through hardware, um, original stuff that he was programming with and look at that an original sticker and he takes he takes out the floppy drive controller and he shows it um, there's a bunch of different initiatives going on right now uh, with people that are wanting to uh, reverse engineer the floppy drive controller find out the hardware so that we can start um, actually accessing real hardware I know that Adrian he's got a like another guy that he's working with and uh, Dave that I've mentioned before so they're looking at reverse engineering that as well as uh, my new friend Santos is doing something pretty cool here um, let's see if I can floppy drive he's got a uh, let's see here bad disk image he does have another thread going on about recreating the uh, the floppy drive controllers they have a bunch of scans so I'm gonna find that link too and I'm not sure where it is in here. I looked at it before, but um, yeah, recreate. Let's see if we can find that. Oop. Recreate. I think the funnest part probably watching my videos is the fa <laughs> fact that I one hand everything here. Um, yeah, I don't know where it is. It's someplace on, on his forum. Um, so Santos has uh, a website, um, vintagecomputers.ca and he is doing a ton of cool stuff he has a lot of nabu hardware so i recommend checking his website out too vintagecomputers.ca and if you take a look um oh here we go the floppy disk controller reproduction so i think this is really great he's got some high-res photos on here as well and his, he's got a, uh, a thread where he's got a number of people that are already reverse engineering it and they already have um, some PCBs designed. So I think that's gonna go a long way. There's also another really cool project here. It feels like I'm doing the NABU news for everybody, but there's another really cool project I want you to see. Uh, NABU, let's see if we can find it. It's from Ken Sigel. Where are you? Here you go, here. Ken Segler, sorry, Ken Segler. Um, just started a conversation with him and he goes over in this video his uh, floppy drive emulator SD controller um, running off a of PIC. Now this is not emulating the real floppy drive for the uh, for the NABU vanilla. This is um, essentially it's booting CPM with a custom ROM and then it's copying all the, the data over and he goes into a little bit of detail about that and you can see there's a conversation him and I are having right here. So I think that's pretty neat. Um, I don't know, it's just, there's just so many exciting things happening. I think one of the things that I'm gonna be working on, which I already started, is um, a floppy disk. Uh, let's see here, QA Pac-Man. A floppy disk controller SD card emulator. So I think a little bit of work with, uh, with Kevin and myself, we might probably get something like that running. A lot of people don't know my background, so <laughs> doing stuff like that is not that complicated. Just a little bit of time. I do have the uh, regular life to have to live too at the same time, but I'm on a roll because this is super exciting. <laughs> you know, like when do we get a chance to find a treasure, a retro treasure that came out of nowhere and suddenly we have information, we have software that'll be able to run soon. Uh, there's another individual who reached out to me and we are creating a website to host the server. We're gonna host pictures. Uh, we're gonna do a Q&A with, uh, with Leo. So if you have any questions that you wanna know about what Leo's doing and what, he's, uh, what he did work on, um, we definitely have a list of, of different uh, different questions and answers that we're gonna be giving Leo. And I'm just looking for my list of too many servers, too many servers. 
So maybe you can start asking some questions in the comments and we can throw those over to, uh, to Leo and, and see what he has to say. But there's a bunch of stuff in there right now. You know, are there any Easter eggs? Things like that. Well, the reason why I loaded Pac-Man up here is because there is a secret Easter egg in here and I'm not gonna tell you about it. You can find it if you look in some of the code, but one day I'm gonna do a video and we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna come across something super cool. So I wonder if I should just let it, you know what, I'm not gonna do a video about it. I'm gonna, when we post this live, I'm gonna let people decide if they wanna search for it on their own or not. And if they find the Easter egg, then ho ho ho, that's uh, <laughs> that's gonna be really friggin' cool, oh uh, man, so 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 cool. So oh uh, no, yes, <laughs> interesting conversation I had about Leo when he was writing Pac Man because Leo made Pac Man um, was about how he had to write the algorithms to make sure that there wasn't too many sprites on one line because you can only do four sprites per line so you actually had to make the ghosts turn away from you based upon what uh line you were on so that you can actually on your scan line based upon how many uh ghosts can be on that on that scan line at the same time so i think that's uh that's pretty exciting so we're gonna be able to learn more about that stuff in the next couple days and i know we're excited to get some answers now and i can tell you more but i'm gonna hold off because i'm jerk <laughs> i'm just kidding i think it's gonna be exciting to do more in-depth conversations about these questions and get into a little bit about his video. And I'm sure this is gonna raise a ton of questions for Leo. So he's gonna be a really busy guy. And oh my gosh, look at this. This is the exciting part. He goes through boxes of floppy disks to demonstrate all the different source codes he has. Now this is his stuff. So I'm gonna, he's mentioned it, I'm gonna mention it now too. Um, please do not bombard Leo with requests to have access to these things. I know everybody wants to see stuff and you're going to have a lot of access to be able to start doing what I have done, reverse engineering and understanding how the NABU works. Because once my program is published, I'm sure a lot of people are going to be diving into there to understand how it works and start reproducing it and have versions of their own. And for all those who don't have NABU hardware, I am very certain that there's going to be a MAME emulator for the NABU soon. And because I do have files being hosted, things happening, I suspect there's going to be some pretty smart people out there who are going to figure out how to do what I've done. And that's what I'm excited about because people keep asking my, for my code. And this is more like a Goonies adventure, really, right? I mean, I went through the process, other people will go through the process, and it'll eventually become something that will grow and people will feel proud of what they've created and share that. So, <laughs> so, oh boy, what an exciting day. and What an exciting time to be a retro enthusiast. Okay, I'll see you on the next video, which will probably be tomorrow morning because, hey, I just can't quit.